Hello everyone, this is the story of the brave Lishmania, who survived inside macrophages surrounded by all dangers and fight it for life. Once upon a time, this man was bitten by a tiny fly, sand yellow in color, called the sand fly, but he wasn't aware of all what will happen inside his body. The saliva of sand fly was contaminated with pro-masty goats of Lishmania. They tried to penetrate his skin, however, they failed. So, they decided to enter through the bite wound. Once they entered the body, complement factor C3B became attached to them through GP63 receptor. Attachment of C3B to GP63 receptor activated the complement system through alternative pathway. So, membrane attack complex was formed and attached to promastigote to lyse it. However, the presence of elongated coat of lipophosphoglycan prevented MAC from reaching plasma membrane of the promastigote, and the MAC attached to LPG were ejected away. Promastigoat enter macrophage through C3B receptor or actively penetrates macrophage. Antibodies can be attached to promastigoat also and enters macrophage through FC receptors and by this wave entrance macrophage can kill promastigoat through oxidative burst and the release of O2 free radicals. However, entrance through active penetration or C3B receptors inhibit oxidative burst. After entrance, macrophage started phagosome formation. This was delayed 24 hours by promastigotes to be transformed into amastigotes. The bag of proteolytic enzymes called the lysosome became fused to phagosome to form the phagolysosome. Then amastigotes started to multiply. They reside in a paracytophorous vacuole inside phagolysosome. Now, macrophage will start the war. The first line of defense is releasing the hydrolytic enzymes onto amastigotes. This will not work, as amastigotes glycolipids and the lipophosphoglycan make them indigestible. So, Macrophage started acidification of the phagolysosome to keep pH at 4.5 to 5. However, amastigotes are acidophiles. They are metabolically active in acidic environments, and this is due to the proton pump effect of them. Now, it is time for the acquired immunity to help. Macrophage expressed amastigotes processed antigens attached to MHC class 2 molecules on its surface to call T helper 1 help and secretes interleukin 12 to stimulate the T helper 1 cells. T helper 1 cells will secrete the interferon gamma, the maestro, which is the most important and the crucial line of defense. Interferon gamma synergizes with tumor necrosis factor alpha to stimulate nitric oxide synthase in macrophages to form nitric oxide, which is lethal to amastigotes. Important note that promastigotes at the beginning of infection are protected from nitric oxide pathway by inhibitory substance present in the sand fly saliva. Now, this is the meeting of the Higher Council for Lishmania Affairs. And now, either we will, we will win, or die. To overcome this battle, which will decide who will be the winner, amastigotes put the plan. I will inhibit interferon gamma and interleukin 1. And I will in, uh, inhibit MHC expression on the surface of macrophage. And I will increase secretion of prostaglandins and leukotrienes to suppress the helper one cell. Amastigotes went to do their tasks. First, they inhibited interferon gamma secretion, so macrophage became unable to kill amastigotes. Then, decreased expression of MHC class 2 molecules on the surface of macrophage, so macrophage became unable to present antigens to T helper 1 cells. 
and lastly, the stimulated secretion of the lymphocyte suppressor prostaglandins and the leukotrienes. Let's see who will win this war. This is what our body did and the response of Leishmania to evade. First, intact skin prevents promastigotes from entry. However, they entered through the bite wound. Complement system was activated through the alternative pathway. However, elongated lipophosphoglycan coat prevented MAC from reaching plasma membrane and was shedded. Nitric oxide pathway was inhibited by a substance in sandy fly saliva and the promastigotes were protected. Promastigotes evades oxidative burst by entering macrophage either through C3B receptors or active penetration. And opsonization by antibodies, they evade that through rapid entry into cells. For amastigotes, macrophage started with hydrolytic enzymes, and amastigotes evade killing by hydrolytic enzymes by their surface molecules and resist acidification by proton pump effect and the combat nitric oxide killing by inhibiting interferon gamma and interleukin 1 decreasing MHC2 expression and stimulating lymphocyte suppressor prostaglandins and leukotrienes now who will win? this depends on genetic factors of the host species of the organism expressed epitopes and stimulated cytokines. So, in benign forms of the disease, like oriental sore caused by Leishmania tropica, there is dominance of T helper 1 response, with protective cytokines interleukin 12, tumor necrosis factor alpha, and interferon gamma that help cell mediated immunity. Single ulcer is formed. Healing occurs with long-lasting immunity and the Leishmanian intradermal test is positive indicating strong cell-mediated immunity. In the diffuse form of the disease caused by Leishmania Ethiopica, there is T-helper 2 dominance with transforming growth factor beta and the high antibody response. Antibodies are unfortunately helpless. There is no ulcers. No ulcers are formed, only diffuse nodules. No healing, no strong cell-mediated immunity with negative Leishmanian tests. In active visceral Leishmaniasis, there is T helper 1 and the T helper 2. Interleukin 12, interferon gamma, tumor necrosis factor alpha, and also inhibitory interleukin 10. And there is overproduction of antibodies as there is polyclonal activation of lymphocytes that are unfortunately pathological. Immunopathology caused by overproduction of antibodies in the form of immune complex disease causing nephrotic syndrome, autoantibodies causing pancytopenia, hyperspelinism, and immunosuppression. Overcell mediated immunity also can result in granulomas formation, forming immunopathology in the form of Leishmaniasis rusidivans or post cala azar dermal Leishmanoid. Now we came to the end. Thank you for listening.